Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of our article today is Why Our Shadows Change. Okay, um, so we can see day and night and our shadows change as the time moves. So let's see, when an object blocks light, a shadow is made. So for example, the light is coming onto the screen. So if I block the light, it causes a shadow, right? So you can see the shadow of my hand. When we walk under the sun, we see our shadow. So on a sunny day, if you walk outside and you look on the ground, your, your body sometimes blocks the sun from hitting the ground, so it creates a shadow of you. So it says here, depending on the time of day, so it, it depends, right? So it changes on the time of day, the length of our shadow changes. Sometimes the shadow can be long, sometimes the shadow can be very short, and that's the length, how long something is. So it says our shadows, are the longest in the morning and evening when that spot on earth is spinning away from the sun. So when we are spinning away from the sun, that's when our shadows become very long. And that happens in the morning and in the evening. And it says, our shadows are the shortest at noon. So noon is 12 o'clock or lunchtime. So it's the shortest at noon or during the middle of the day when the sun is shining above that spot on earth. So when the sun is right on top of us, that usually happens at noon, that's when there's less shadow because the sun is coming straight down. But then when the sun is lower or when the sun is higher, that's when the shadow uh, comes and it becomes longer because the sun is shining on us in an angle, it's not coming straight. So uh, I hope you can test this out if you go out in the morning, take a look at your shadow and in the, in the noon, right, right at lunchtime if you go out, see how shorter your, your shadow is and that's because of where the sun is in the sky. So when it's kind of far away, it creates a longer shadow and when it's on top of us or above us at noon, that's when the shadow becomes shorter because uh, the light is shining straight down on us. So let's take a look. We see different shadows and those are very long shadows and those are long shadows because it's probably in the morning or a little bit in the evening before the sun sets. So it says, a blank is made when an object blocks light. So when I block the light, what is created? And we talked about this, it's in our title. And a shadow is created, is made. Uh, our second question, it says, our shadow changes depending on the blank of day. So what changes the length of our shadow? How long our shadow is? And we said, it depends on the time of day. Right? So it's the shortest in the middle of the day and in the early and, and the later part of the day, our shadows are long. So it says our shadows are blank at noon. So what are they? Are they the longest at noon? Are they kind of in the middle? And we talked about it in our article today. Our shadows are the shortest at noon and noon is lunchtime, uh, 12 p.m. Okay, let's take a, take a look at the last part and choose the correct answer to finish our sentences. And it says, when we walk under the sea, under the sun, or under the sand, we see our shadow. So I think if we walk under the sea, you probably won't see shadow because the sun cannot go all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Uh, if we walk under the sand, uh, also that would be a very strange place to walk because no sun will come in through the sand. So the correct answer is, if you walk under the sun, we will see our shadow. Okay, our shadows are the longest, shortest, or smallest in the morning and evening. So we talked about this many times. We said that uh, in order for our shadows to be long, the sun has to be a little bit farther away. And when is the sun farther away? And that's during the morning and evening. So the correct answer is our shadows are the longest uh, in the morning and the evening. So then that means in our last question, at noon or lunchtime, the sun is directly below, meaning underneath, directly behind or above the earth. So where is the sun uh, when it is uh, lunchtime or noon? And we said it's right on top of us. So a synonym of that is above the earth. So next time you're outside during the summer and you're playing with your friends, take a look at the, sh the shadow. And then during lunchtime, during noon, I want you to check your shadow and see for yourself that as the sun changes its position, it changes the length of our shadow too. So this is a very cool thing that you can check out yourself outside. I hope you enjoyed today's article and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.